this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming to another gun video. Appreciate you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2 way community. Appreciate all the love and support. Appreciate the likes and stuff. And appreciate the comments. And, you know, also the number one goal is to uphold the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. With that said, um, you know, there is no fame, no glory, or nothing over here. Just trying to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. Because there's a lot of people trying to take that away. Now, right now, I know in the headlines, you said a lot of people um, has been brandished their farm. And, you know, their farm has been seized, confiscated. Man, it's everywhere. It's all over the country, people. Um, to my, it's a lot of people who have been brandishing their weapon, um, you know, during this pandemic. And there's a lot of people farm that has been seized. Now, with that said, I had said last year, a lot of you probably remember that, you know, we went over the red flag laws, how a lot of states has been adopted these laws, people. Um, to my, they're allowing everybody to infringe on your Second Amendment rights. And, you know, it, you know, the sad part about it, a lot of these states, you know, someone accused you of something or whatever, um, they're not going to be held liable. Now, I was just looking recently, um, New Hampshire, a couple weeks ago, um, they pretty much passed a red flag law bill in their state. But, you know, they do have that, you know, if you're false reporting something that you can be held liable. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you have a gun owner who's going to have to go to court, have to get them a lawyer, have to pay all this money and fees and stuff. Um, probably have to go see, uh, get evaluated. It's a lot of things that's going to happen, people. And, you know, to get your farms and stuff back. So it's a lot of delay in that. But, you know, at the end of the day, red flag laws have been adopted. I, know, I just looked, um, I think it was like uh, eight more states looking at it to pass a red flag law bill or expand the red flag law. Um, so, you know, especially during this pandemic and everything, a lot of states really looking at it because you have people, a lot of brandishing farms, road rage and stuff. People, you know, brandishing farms in the, on road and road rage incidents. It's just so much going on. And you have a lot of police going and, you know, confiscating weapons and stuff from gun owners and everything so and you know i was looking at some more news when it comes to the red flag law in colorado it has been used several times already in colorado uh, 59 times so they you know exact what they said but you know they project it could be used hundreds and hundreds of more times so you know these are some of the things that i have been talking about people and the mindset right now you have so many people on edge and, you know, they're not thinking clearly and they react to something. Now, no matter what people say about, you know, what are these situations that's going on, but farms are being seized and confiscated. And, you know, I was looking at one report where a gun owner said that, you know, his gun was seized and he haven't, he, he haven't, he have no chance to get his gun back. He's going to court several times. I'm talking about the process. They make the process difficult. People It's easy for somebody to um, pretty much say, hey, you know, you deem the threat to yourself and all this kind of stuff. Well, they said this and they said that. Get a court order and they come get your weapons. And I see a lot of the time the red flag law been used against a lot of elderly, the senior citizens and stuff like that. I reported on that, show all types of um, proof that, you know, the elderly, is, you know, the red flag law has been abused on the elderly and stuff in this um in this um, country and everything so you know the red flag law can be it can be abused and it's being abused and right now it is shining during this pandemic um considered you know when you're brandishing a weapon and people are you know doing stuff that they're doing and you know first thing they say you know where they're a threat to the public or they're a threat to themselves and stuff and that's all it takes people it, it, it don't take a whole lot of extra i know a lot of people uh, you know think that you know oh it got to be a little bit more to it and stuff like that Hey, look it up. It is, I'm talking about, it's not that hard. I'm talking about, especially when you see some of the incidents that we're dealing with now where people farm has been confiscated. I'm talking about, it's just that serious. So just want to talk about that a little bit, people. Hey, think before you pull your weapon. I'm talking about, if you're not fear of bodily harm and stuff like that, don't do that to try to put fear in people. Please, that is, stop doing that. That is not good. I'm talking about, it is shining. The red flag law is shining and other states are adopting and they're looking at it because that is a quick way and they, and they claim that they're stopping suicide. They're stop, stopping violence and all this kind of stuff. You know, so they're adopting all these laws in the, in the world of public safety. And, you know, a lot of these states claim that, you know, they're stopping suicide for the, with the red flag laws. 
they're stopping um you know people who want to go out and and hurt other people and stuff like that so people just think people on to my stop help creating these laws and, and you know they're just drawing them up because of the situation that we in right now so just want to talk about that this is this channel guns and i catch you on the next one this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.